Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muzzy. Today is HMS TV Appreciation Day because we've been feeling mucho appreciated. Before we get to that, we've got over five minutes of new material for you. So let's dive in with a minute with the running club. The Hopkinton Hillers Running Club was started around five years ago, and we meet outside the Brown Gym at around 2 o'clock. Our mission is to get people involved in physical fitness and exercise and still have a great time. We have three to ten members, and to join our club, all you need is just some athletic attire and sneakers. People should join this club because it's fun, and um, sometimes we get food. Some things we do is we, we run, um, we stretch, and we run, yeah. We, tr we train for the Timlin. Some notable things we've done in the past are we've gone to Waterfresh Farm to get ice cream. Like, we ran there, then we ran back. My personal favorite thing about this club is being able to exercise but still have fun with my friends and everyone else who's here. What we hope students gain from this club are um, better goals for them themselves and um, more ability to run better and faster yeah running running i feel like that should mean something oh well let's move on to question of the day where today we're asking how do you stay healthy and in shape sports and friends chase my dog around the yard and say meniscus i eat salad i eat my healthy portion of chicken <laughs> running i exercise rock climbing Eating veggies. Soy deportista. Eating fruit. I stockpile Tupperware and then carried them to my car from my classroom. We eat a healthy breakfast. I run around my front yard. I work out. <laughs> Sweating from the intensity of playing Pokemon. Walk laps at Relay for Life. Oh. Hmm, staying in shape. Running. Oh, right. The 26.2 Desire to Inspire is coming up on March 24th. Good luck on that, everyone. Coming up right now is a visit to Mrs. Santos's jump rope class. This class is jump rope. Uh, the students have put together three routines, and their final routine, which they're working on right now, is a double dutch routine. It's really nice to see the kids having fun on something other than a device. They're unplugged. They're smiling and laughing with their friends. None of them could jump double dutch in the beginning and they've progressed beautifully. Now they're jumping and they're playing catch, they're doing cartwheels, they're doing leapfrog, all kinds of crazy skills. I love this class because the kids want to come in here and they look forward to it and they tell me that it's the bright spot of their day. I like learning all the tricks in double dutch. I like learning how to get into the ropes. I like learning how to pass the ball in between two ropes. I like learning double dutch because I never really knew how to do that before. At first, like I couldn't even get in the ropes now I'm starting to actually get out the ropes too. We get to work with everyone together, and I honestly, I, I learned so much when I first started here. The favorite part about this class? Having Miss Santos as a teacher! Boy, talking about having fun while staying in shape. Remind you of anything? Moving on now, Emma and Olivia from the high school stopped by our studio to tell us about the upcoming Relay for Life. Hi, my name is Olivia Spar, and this is Emma Relly, and we are the chairs of the Hopkinton Relay for Life. Relay for Life is an event that fundraises money for the American Cancer Society and culminates in the event of Relay for Life itself. During Relay for Life, team of, teams of students take turns walking around the track from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. to represent the difficult journey of being a cancer patient. Our event this year is May 19th at the high school track. You guys are the future of Relay, so we strongly encourage middle schoolers to sign up and become involved in this event. To sign up, visit the Relay for Life of Hoppington MA page and create a team. It's totally free. If you would like more information, you can either talk to Mrs. McBride in the main office or send hoprfl at gmail.com an email. We will also be having our first team captain meeting on March 22nd at 6.30 in the Hopkinton High School cafeteria. Even if you aren't yet registered but would like just like more information, you are welcome. You do not need to be a team captain to come. We hope to see you all there. They also sent us the URL for their website, but, well, let me show you. Yeah, so that. What we decided to do is put this link on our webpage, so just visit, click, and get involved. Coming up next is time for the weekly birthday scroll. 
Hope you all have a great day, and now it's time for HMS TV Appreciation. We're really grateful for all the wonderful comments we've been getting. In fact, we're putting them up on our wall in the studio, and we wanted to share them with our viewers. Thanks. Those are definitely going on our website. Now finally, it's time for Have You Seen This? Last week's photo was outside the auditorium and we had one winner. Congratulations on win. Stop by the HMS TV studio next Wednesday after school to claim your prize. And by the way, here is a past happy winner. Good job, Max. And here is today's image. You have until next Wednesday to find it and send us an email. Check us out online at hcam.tv slash hmstv and email us at hmstv at hillers.org with comments and suggestions. On behalf of everyone here, get out there and study hard. Max, these are dedicated to you. HMSTV Appreciation Day. Should I do it like real news people? Ah, uh, mucho appreciated. Because we got down. There's always one word. Foti. Hello, Hopkinton Middle School. Wait, what? What we what ow. Yeah, I'm gonna redo that. <laughs>